So now you're going to set your chest along your left leg and we're going to come back, try to keep your foot flex or flex your foot and keep your chest on your leg. You don't need to straighten your knee all the way. Um, you're just trying to keep your chest on your leg as you pulse back. So one, you come forward, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one we're gonna hold, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, come back up and then switching legs. So your other leg will come up for the lunge. So we're gonna do, um, again, checking that your, um, uh, you know, body straight over your back leg. And then we're gonna do 10 pulses forward. Um, try to, you know, if anything, lean back so that you can lean with your hips. Um, so one, why my toes like this, but it's easier like this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, come out to your deepest or your farthest position without your posture breaking. And then 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now you take your left hand, put it a foot from your right foot, and you're gonna lift your right hand up. We can use your right hand first to twist you up so you can get a really good twist. And then lift your right hand, lift your left knee or straighten your left knee. And then again, we're gonna dip under with our hand, our right hand in front of our left hand to keep a longer spine. So come down, one, and come up, two, and up, three, up, four, up, last one, five, and up. And you can drop your left knee, put your chest on your right leg. And then we're gonna do the um, coming back, keeping your chest on your leg, um, you're flexing your right foot. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one we're gonna hold, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and come up. So um, let's, I was thinking we did some sidekicks and elbows in yesterday's class and it would be fun to do again. That sounds good. Awesome. Yeah, cool. That sounds fun. great. So we started with the, we're just gonna do that same lesson. I liked the routine we did. Um, let's, we're gonna start with sidekicks to kind of, um, you know, get a sidekick mood and then we'll go to the elbows and put them together in combinations. So grab a chair or spot on the wall. Something you can use. This is dark. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna do this drill for sidekicks. We're gonna do a two minute per leg sidekick drill. So the first minute is gonna be the regular sidekick drill. I don't know if you've done this, um, this sequence yet. Um, so you've done this, obviously, this. And then the second minute, we're gonna go right into it, just this, the kick out. I find, I've been telling people, cause I was like, I found it shockingly tiring the second part. And I realized it's because I've done this on the wall for years and on the chair, it's much, you can't, you can't use the chair for stability as you kick out. So it's all leg. So as opposed to the wall where I remember I get sore in my shoulder, of putting all that force through the wall so it's really nice to do it with a chair if you have one actually um i find it pretty tiring i do it on my weak side first so that because that side it really sucks on it actually <laughs> so that's I'm what we're gonna... piano, so. what's that i'm using the piano oh the piano yeah that'll be kind of medium <laughs> so um you have a piano mm -hmm. oh, i didn't know you got i got it over the summer so oh wow do you play yeah i've played since i was like six. So. Oh, cool. Look at this. 
insane. Look at this. <laughs> I would show you if I could get rid of the Zoom background, but I apparently can't. So. Oh, honey, I can't do a Zoom background, and I just need to change a setting, I think, but, but I've never been able to do one. It's always like your computer won't let you. You have to go in and update your blah, blah settings, and I haven't. But then lately I'm like, now it's getting to the point where like this background sort of okay, but my, the one I use when I'm sitting is like my very messy bookshelves. And I'm like, this is really like, actually should be more professional and get a fake one at this point, but I can't, I can't be bothered, I guess, to update my computer. <laughs> I teach my students now, if I teach my, like my English students, I just teach them sitting on the floor here. <laughs> I'm like, that's yeah. very zen, <laughs> sitting on the floor. A nice view. Yeah. Well, I'm so glad you got a piano. That's so cool. Yeah, it's great. Okay, so um, so we'll do two minutes on one side. So it'll, I'll tell you when to switch from the regular sidekick drill to the um, to the to just kicking out. And get set and go. Okay, and switch to the just kick out. If, keep going, if this starts hurting your knee or body or anything, like back, then take a break and come back to it. Otherwise, if you're just feeling it in your glute, hamstring, then that's good. seconds. <sighs> All right. This is gets shaken out for a second. Get set for the other side. Yeah, get set up. Okay, and it's funny, you must be moving the yourself all around, huh? Yeah, it's so funny. It looks to me like like it's surreal because your background stays the same. It's just a, I wish a different orientation all the time. I wish I could get rid of it, but I don't know how, so. Um, that's so funny. It's also funny because I'm just like, I was like, oh, what? like it's just so odd visually, you know? Like you're just like, and I'm like, right, of course, you're moving to a totally different direction, but it doesn't look like it. it looks like you're doing nothing. I'm just going like, anyway, so just zoom on this. All right, so get set for the other side and go. So start with the regular sidekick drill. It's like Rain has a question in the chat. A few more seconds till we switch. All right, switch to just kicking out.
more seconds. All right, shake that out. If you need to put the reset yourself somewhere, put the not put the chair away, but put something, get set back to your regular spot. That just a procedural question about the program review. Ooh, program, I'm the program review chair. <laughs> yeah. um, okay, so let's do um let's do uh that was that was a weird confusion confusion. Um the uh melding of worlds. All right, so let's do just look at the time. Perfect. Let's do um uh sidekick, the step behind sidekicks to practice them because we're going to use them in the, a little bit in the combinations. So we're going to start with our lead side. We're going to do the side kick where we go um, step, step, kick. So you would step a little bit across, step behind and kick. And we're going to add a jab to the beginning. So it's going to be step, step, kick, come back. Step, step, kick. So we're just going to do 10 of those from each stance. So I'll count them out. So one, Step, step, kick, come back. Two, step, step, kick. And you can fling a jab out for the first step to disguise it. It's not a real jab, it's just a fling. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. All right, switch to southpaw stance. Same thing on the other side. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, so now we're going to go into the drills for the elbows. So let's do. First, to warm up for them, we're gonna do one minute of two different punching drills um, to get our bodies warmed up on the turning for the elbows. So we're gonna do um, one minute jab, cross, hook, cross, jab, hook. Jab, cross, hook, cross, jab, hook. So, yep. Just like we usually do with uppercuts, which we'll do in a minute, or we'll do with hooks. So as you're doing this, um, make sure to, um, you know, you're pivoting a little, but the, these, the straights are kind of, you know, loose. The hook is the punctuated punch hook. So you're really trying to get the, that twist on the hook, which you need for the elbows. Okay, so get set and go. So last 20 seconds, speed it up, trying to keep the form. All right, nice. Okay, so now, we're gonna do the same thing with uppercuts. And the only thing is, usually when we do, I'm gonna move this back a little bit. 
usually when we do the um, straight, straight uppercut drill, jab, cross up, cross jab up, we do it leaning off to the side like that, because that's a common type of uppercut to throw. But this one, because we're doing it to set up the motion for the uppercut elbow, it's gonna be a straight up the front kind of uppercut. So it's gonna be like, so rather than, the main difference is that your other shoulder isn't coming forward. So you might be leaning a little bit, but you're basically thinking about, right, you know, um, up the, the, the imagery would be, well, look how my, where my hand is, it's dropping right below my own chin versus dropping off to the side and coming in. So that it would be landing here rather than here. And it'd be the kind of uppercut that you would do if you threw like, you know, jab to the face, cross to the body, uppercut up the middle. So it's like an up the middle uppercut where you're coming straight on ahead of them. So it's like, but you're thinking about your body still twists like this rather than lean and twist. That's the only difference. You still twist, but you're not lean twist. You're just um, twist, twist. So you're not kind of slipping first. So it's gonna be jab, cross, up, cross, jab, up. And so really thinking about this, bam, bam, you know, that hip movement to power the uppercut. So one minute, jab, cross, uppercut, cross, jab, uppercut. Get set and go. So start slow, don't start at your pace from the end of the last round. Really get that uppercut punctuated. Speed up a little bit, try to keep the form. All right, next. Okay, so now we're gonna um, work on these uh, elbows. So we're gonna do, I want a sip of water. Let's take a break for a second, grab a sip of water. Then we'll work on the elbows. So when we do the elbows, um, so we're gonna do uh, two types of elbows on the front and back side. But one of them you don't really do on both sides, but we're gonna practice it. Um, but we're gonna practice first horizontal elbows. So the first elbow we're gonna practice is the rear horizontal or hook type elbow. And the elbow looks like this. I mean, my palm is down when I throw it. My elbow, I'm pointing, I'm hitting with the, the tip of my elbow, trying to hit the very tip across. My hand is close to my chest the whole time I'm throwing it. So it's not, you know, it's not coming out, even though it's called, it's like a hook type of elbow. It's not coming out like that. It's just, you know, almost like hits. And it comes to your one um, added detail is your hand, your palms facing down. It could be closed or open, doesn't matter. Um, but it faces down for a better angle and it comes into your armpit. So I end up here, which is a good guarded position. We're gonna do it from, yeah, exactly. We're gonna do it from, um, We've been practicing it from an extended hand. Um, and the extended hand could be a jab, jab elbow. It could be a, a clinch. We're gonna practice it those ways. And it could be a push, like you have, you know, you have your hand on their chest and they're, they're coming in and you let it go. So it's any of those, all of those are good. So we're gonna have an extended lead arm and then we're gonna throw the elbow and bring this arm in. So we end up in this guarded position with our hand on our armpit and our, our other hand over our head like that. So, um, so we're going to do 10 of those together. So we're going to, when you come back, cause you're not done when you throw the elbow, you're done when you come back, when you come back, you can come back to a guard or you can come back to the arm out, whichever you prefer. So you can just keep, you know, you can come out like, and then, then put your arm out again, or you could just 
there, whichever one you want. Uh, but you have to come back. So, um, so get set and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, so now we're gonna do the lead side elbow and we're gonna do the one that, again, is analogous to a hook. Um, it's, you know, it comes down a little bit. It's not quite as straight across as a hook. Um, and same, um, di you know, same mechanics. The difference is you have to, just like with the lead hook, you have to slip or something before. Fake a punch, you've thrown across, you've slipped, you have to be twisted. So I'm gonna twist and then I'm gonna throw the elbow and end up in that same position, hand on, on the other side. So if I say one, it's gonna be slip elbow. So one, two, thanks. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Cool, okay, so now we're gonna do the uppercut elbows. So we're gonna do the lead one first. The back one's kind of weird, um, and I don't think it's like used so much. Um, you'll see why. It's hard to cover the distance you need, but the lead one, the, um, the dynamics of it are, you do this, like comb your hair, you know, pan around the, the line of your hairline to, um, to create that elbow. So it's like, it was a little dark like that. So my elbow is coming up. But if I just, I kind of learned it just in place like that, but that's a very um, tight range. Like somebody would have to be right here for it to hit, like right, so you have to be like face to face. So you also add a little um, jab step. Um, so it looks like, let me put this one extra light on. Might help a tiny bit. So I'm gonna step like I'm throwing a jab while I'm doing it. So I just cover a little bit of range there and then come back. So let's give that a try. So we'll do 10 of those. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. We'll do the same thing on the other side. It's pretty awkward on the rear side. I think it's more unusual to throw it on the rear side, you know, because, you know, again, you step in, but it's a little, closing that angle is kind of strange. So, um, or, you know, getting the covering distance. But we'll just for sake of symmetry, do 10 on the other side. So it's same thing, you step in like a jab, you know, turn your hip up and throw the um, elbow. So one, I think you can do it from a clinch. Two, something where you know that they're really close. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Cool, so those are the four elbows we're gonna use. Okay, good, check how much time we have. So we're gonna do, let's do, um, yeah, we'll do, we're gonna do a full round. First of a combination with just the elbows and then a combination with the elbows adding kicking. Awesome. So the, yeah, cool, so the first, it's fun. So the first elbow, I think. So the first elbow combination is this. Um, it's jab, yeah, jab, rear, Rear hook elbow. No, let's do it's two jabs better. Jab, jab, elbow, and then grab, elbow. So that's the punching part. There's one extra step um, after that. But the punches or the strikes are jab, jab.
jab, elbow, clinch with your lead hand, second rear elbow. So same two elbows with the hand extended, but different scenarios. Um, and at the end, we grab, we throw in the elbow, we're gonna push them away and push ourselves away. So we've just thrown jab, jab, elbow, clinch, elbow. In the kick version, we're gonna keep the clinch, but in this version, we're done. We don't want them near us anymore. So we're gonna switch to push. We're pushing ourselves back, also hopefully pushing them away. Um, and it's a you know tight arm push so that we're not dropping our guard. So one more time, it's jab, jab, elbow, grab, elbow, push. So you can just do that one, yep. So we're just gonna work that for, um, and actually a good way to, I think a good way to work it would be to throw jabs, move around, throw jabs, and then when you want to, then go into the um, combination. So Plus it comes the here. traditional activity of cat avoidance. <laughs> oh yes, of the, right. Not of avoiding you, of avoiding them. Well, I've got one on the floor here too, so. Oh, yeah. uh, Oh God. Well, you're both cats avoiding each other then. That's true. <laughs> there we go. Because I totally parsed that as you. I'm like, oh, is that how one avoids you? Interesting. <laughs> yeah, vinegar avoidance, shall we say. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. It made perfect sense. I was just like, huh. <sighs> yeah, she's like, she loves to flop on the floor right in the middle of like. Yeah, I, I've seen that. I, I, enjoy, I enjoy it when that happens. So <laughs> She's like, hi, I'm here. <laughs> So again, in between that combination, you can be throwing jabs, moving around, and then going to the combination when you want. And go. So now we're gonna add um, knees and side kicks to that. So it's gonna be jab, jab, elbow, grab, elbow, and then you're gonna grab the second hand, clinch. Now we're gonna throw, I'll show this from a couple angles. We're gonna throw right knee, and then we're gonna put it down, then we're gonna put it out in front and throw a right side kick. So from the side, it looks like jab, jab, elbow, grab elbow, I have this one clinch. I'm gonna put the second hand of the clinch on, I'm gonna throw one knee. I put it down in front, which means I think I'm gonna throw a second knee. If I only thought I was gonna throw one knee, I'd probably, you know, bring it back. But I, I you know, if I didn't think I was gonna throw this knee, but I brought it in the front, but they're, they're getting away. They're pulling back. They're trying to yank on, get out of my clinch. So I'm gonna let go and throw this step behind side kick. So for the clinch part, I'm throwing Right knee step forward and then step side kick. 
Then I'm going to back up throwing um, uh, southpaw jabs till I get back to a safe range. And then I'm going to switch my stance back gradually. So carefully, you know, um, still, you know, we generally you do that kind of by not, not trying to do it too abruptly, but by, or you can do it with slips. That's a safe way to do it because it keeps your center of gravity really low. But, um, but otherwise you could just kind of move your legs around until you get back to your stance and then you start again. So jab, jab, elbow, grab, elbow, clinch, right knee, step down, right side kick, jab out. Yeah. Got it? Cool. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Set and go. Next, um, let me turn this off. Next, uh, punching combination or uh, you know, striking, hand striking combination is jab, cross, uppercut elbow, cross, hook elbow. So the, um, the idea here is that, you know, after this elbow, you couldn't throw a cross if they had stayed in range, but they've backed up. Yep, so it's jab, cross, uppercut elbow, cross, hook elbow. So it's two lead side elbows, two left elbows from the side, this side. Jab, cross, elbow, cross, elbow. So, um, so, and so again, this would be like if they had, I threw this elbow, they, and you know, it hits, so they start backing up or it doesn't hit, they back up, cross, elbow. I'm chasing them in with a second cross and an elbow. So, um, and then you can just, uh, you know, from there, from that elbow, um, you could just jab out of there. So jab, cross, uppercut elbow, cross, jab, uh, cross, hook elbow. Set, and go. But again, you can move around throwing jabs in between until you want to throw the combination.
So the, um, so the last combination is going to be that with kicks. And it's just going to be two side kicks. So it's going to be jab, cross, elbow, cross, elbow, side kick, side kick. Let's add a cross, cross. So jab, cross, elbow. Sorry, I'm doing that. Jab, cross, elbow, cross, elbow, side kick, step, step, side kick, cross, jab out. And the footwork is, see, I can always turn it and do it to the knee that much is um, jab, cross, elbow, cross from here. I'm just going, the first one, I probably can't get a full step behind just because of my angle, but I might just step a little bit to help step, kick, step, step, kick. So this is kind of like as though I was going down the floor going step, step, kick, step, step, kick, um, walking forward with that stepping side kick. So jab, cross, elbow, cross, elbow, side kick, side kick, um, cross, Jab out. Got it. Okay, so get set. Last round. And go. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Keep going. I just said the I said the I said the combination weird to myself. I thought I said it wrong. Okay, that's it. So, Jamal's probably gonna start class in a second. Thank you so awesome. much. Thank and you, it's so great to see you. So great to have a one-on-one -on -one class. I know, I'm glad you were here. I know, I was like, there's not gonna be a class because Molly and Talia are out, so. That's I felt awesome. bad, I was like, oh, I'm making your teach and it's just me and the no, sound. No, it's, and it's gonna be the same with Jamal in next class because it's usually just me and Talia, unless you feel like coming to Jamal's class. It um, might be a little white, but. Um, <laughs> yeah. But, Mm, but yeah. yes cool no so awesome to see you though yeah it was it was yeah. great i i couldn't i was hadn't done my writing yesterday so i could it was like oh but i'll go to advanced class tomorrow so yeah, yeah so. that's so great i'm so glad you could come so yeah me cool. too yeah all right cool yeah. see you soon take care bye, bye.